Hello everyone. I am glad to see you on the new recap, put a like and enjoy watching. Kingluin Peak. The horizon was filled with endless peaks of mountains. It seemed Mother Nature herself decided to make this mountain forest here. However, there was something here that at first glance did not fit into the picture of these mountains. Huge piles of chopped firewood, like skyscrapers, that rose almost higher than the peaks of the mountains themselves. And a man lived on one of these peaks. Day after day he chopped wood and put them in these piles. That person was me. Phew, I've done a lot today. I was sitting on a big tree stump, armed with an axe that didn't seem at all suitable for chopping firewood. I didn't have time to catch my breath, as the system notification notified. The total number of chopped firewood of the host is 3.65 million. Ha, huh, few people will do half of this in their lifetime. I hid the notification with a gesture. In a previous life, I lived on Earth. I was the best on the stream thanks to the talent show. However, due to my refusal to obey the agency, I was in the shadows for a long time, and, in the end, I was mired in depression. That's why he died. I was reborn in this world. And became a lecturer at the Rune faculty of Kingong Academy in southern Yunyuan. I thought that after rebirth I would be able to show my strength and live a completely different new life. But who would have thought that this world would turn out to be a wood chopping system that doomed me to? To the useless chopping of firewood. After another chopped log, I sighed. Although I became a saint, I never got to the easy level. Suddenly my peace was broken by a man who flew to me. Surrounded by an orange aura, he hovered in the sky and then carelessly landed on one of my piles of firewood. Because of his landing, firewood fell from the top. Without waiting for my reaction, he said. The elder asked to inform about the beginning of the examination of the mountain palace. Please go there and select the students. Obvious contempt was read on this guy's face. The man was thinking. With such a level of cultivation, even with his arrival, there will hardly be anyone willing. I practically ignored the guy and continued chopping wood, and then added. Understood. You can go now. Apparently the guy didn't want to stay too long, because he immediately said goodbye and went home. When he left, I began to speak my thoughts out loud as usual. Even if I go there, nothing good will come out anyway. Although. It's been a while since I've eaten meat. It's time to check whether the dragons have had time to eat in the abyss of Sanu. With these words, I slung my axe on my shoulder and set off on my way. Rookie Square. Surrounded by majestic oriental-style buildings, this square has gathered a lot of people. Many of them were already known. But many were just beginning their journey. The masters who came here were chatting among themselves. There are quite a lot of applicants to the faculty of swordsmanship. The master of this faculty, the swordsman of the beyond, Jian He Ming, respectfully folded his hands in gratitude and answered the interlocutor. I'm flattered. Another of the masters stressed. You have received more than 500 students with such ease, it causes envy. The masters gossiped about each other. Meanwhile, there was not a single application at the Rune faculty, instructor Bai Luo Chen did not even show up. Ha, despite his role as a teacher, he's stuck at the easy level. It would be a shame to come here. In addition, such garbage occupies Kingluin Peak, and after all, there are the best villas in the entire academy. What a waste. After listening to all these words, the master of the faculty of swordsmanship became enraged. By the way, he was a rather thin man, but from his appearance, it could be said that he was well-trained and fit. He wore purple-tinged clothes and had a blade on his back. Ha! Huh. Master Bai is really out of control. Let's not take into account the fact that over the past 10 years he has not received a single application from students. How could he not show up today? The master turned to an elderly man sitting on a kind of throne. I ask you, director, to remove him from his position as a teacher and forcibly force him to release Kingluin Peak. Everything should correspond to the status of our academy. The elderly director stroking his beard quite loudly so that everyone could hear him, said. Don't forget. Brother Bai lost everything he had and spent 10 years trying to overcome the first stage. The person sitting on the throne was the director of Kingong Academy. Li Guan Kai. His gray hair, like his beard, hung over his shoulders. He was wearing a white robe with gold inserts. His whole appearance showed the respect and awe with which everyone treats him. And everything Master Bai did was for the sake of protecting the academy. Such words made the masters think about the above, but the sword master did not retreat. We will never forget Master Bai's contribution to the history of the academy. But now he is not able to teach. Then one of the crowd of masters spoke out. 
What about dismissing him from his position as a teacher and letting him live on Kingluan Peak? This proposal was supported by some of those present. Brother Yan is absolutely right. It's a great way out. However, the young master did not have time to finish. A loud voice rang out across the square. Thank you for taking care of me. This voice caused everyone present to turn towards its source. I am very touched. A little battered after the fight, I walked towards the director's throne. I had a trophy in my hand. The snake is blue. Not missing the opportunity to gloat, the sword master came up to me. I see Master Bai is in a good mood, but isn't it humiliating to get injured from meeting a snake? Almost laughing, he pointed using my trophy. Not perceiving his mockery, I calmly said. This animal has cultivation abilities, it almost killed me. After my words, the crowd of students and masters started talking. Master Bai's skills may be far from outstanding, but his sense of humor is fine. The snake looks completely ordinary, what kind of cultivation is he talking about at all? The girl standing among the newly minted students seemed to be excited about something. No. She was definitely nervous. Looking at Master Bai, she thought. This? Not happening. Meanwhile, the Blade Master continued his mocking taunts. The Master should immediately seek help in case of injury. I just have a couple of pills for cultivating Yang energy. Please take it. What? Of course, I'll give them to you if you can get at least one student today. He pointed with a grin at the huge queue of those wishing to join his faculty. However, if you don't find anyone, you resign. That's an annoying fly. I'm too lazy to play games like this. I won't find any students this year anyway, so I'll go. I was about to leave, but it seems our swordsman's pride completely exploded. You can't leave. He turned back to the director. Director. Instructor Bai has become annoying and lazy, and his level is nowhere lower. Such a person is not worthy to be a teacher. He pointed his finger at me, saying. Please suspend him. In an instant, many masters whispered. He's absolutely right. Master Bai is not suitable for the role of a teacher. Only the director did not change his expression, he only stroked his gray beard. And then he looked at me and asked. Brother Bai, what do you think? Without a drop of emotion, I answered, spreading my hands to the sides. I don't mind. Then I won't have to work here. As long as King Luin Peak remains mine, everything will suit me, brothers. After listening to me, the director said. Good. Then I'll make an announcement. Bai Luo Chen, instructor of the Rune Academy faculty, who has not received a single application from students over the past 10 years due to his low level, no longer has the right to teach. Therefore, from today. But before the director could finish, the same worried girl from the crowd shouted. Wait. I. I want to study the art of runes under the guidance of instructor Bai. The girl with dark hair almost to the floor was incredibly beautiful. Her size amazed everyone standing in this square no less than her choice. He's been stuck on the same level for 10 years. He's weaker than a chicken. Yes, Bai is just trash. What's going on here? Miss, what are you thinking at all? Bai garbage. He no longer has the right to conduct teaching activities. Being his disciple is the same as being a servant. The master of the blade, either impressed by the beauty of the girl or out of a desire to fire me, began to persuade the girl. I think you are quite talented, and your skills are very high. If you become part of the swordsmanship faculty, I guarantee you a better position. But the girl wasn't even listening to him. Coming up to me, she grabbed my hand and pressed it to her. Blushing a little, she said confidently. I made my choice. Please accept me instructor by. What the hell? What is this girl up to? Glancing at the girl beside me, I said. Isn't that too spontaneous? I refuse. Please take me instructor. But I have just decided to resign. The blade master seemed to boil like a kettle. His thoughts were clearly read in his head. Who would even prefer fencing, studying runes with this garbage? Something is not clean here. This woman is surely plotting something with this bai. And now they're trying to jump above my department? Ha! Huh? Bai Luo Chen, how mean of you. Luckily I'm not that stupid. Hearing this, I stood in disbelief. The girl also clearly did not understand what these words were about. But the master in purple continued. Director. As they say, you won't be nice by force. Since miss is not interested in swordsmanship, I can't force her. Let her become Bai's disciple. What? I was just going to rest. Looking at the girl, I asked. Why did you choose me as a mentor? As you can see, I'm just low-level trash. The girl thought about it and then said indistinctly. That's because. But I didn't finish. 
from a girl's point of view. I am the reincarnation of an immortal. In my previous life, I was forced to reincarnate with all my memories preserved because my cultivation was not successful. I was going to choose a fencing department. With my talent and appearance, it wouldn't be a problem to get more than 80% of the faculty's cultivation resources. But I didn't expect to run into a real master at the last minute. With my immortal look, it's impossible to make a mistake. Obviously, the snake was going to turn into a dragon. If we rely on the level of human cultivation, he is the supreme master of the Mahayana stage. Even though I was immortal in my previous life, I'm not sure I could have defeated the dragon snake. How is he, who barely holds on to the basic level of smog? From Bao's point of view. What's on her mind? All this is not easy. Ahem, ahem. The director interrupted my thoughts. Since instructor Jan doesn't mind, I'll make an announcement. I was about to object. Hey, wait. I have something to say. But the director didn't seem to care. The student was officially transferred from the faculty of swordsmanship to the faculty of rune studies. And then he turned to me and showed his thumbs up. Isn't that for your own good? Yes, the hell with two. The set is over. After the end of the set, everyone began to gradually disperse away from the square. Walking with his new student, the annoying Jan got attached to us. Congratulations. You've got a good novice, master Bai. I am sure in three months the faculty of runes will show itself in the exams. Laughing, he overtook us and walked away. Did he hit his head? That's a strange guy. By the way. I said, turning to the girl. I still don't know your name. How should I address you? Gently smiling, the girl replied. My name is Su Li Yu. Heck. If I had known earlier how things would turn out, I wouldn't have come. I've created a lot of trouble for myself. I'm so tired. We didn't talk much as we headed towards the portal gate, which stood majestically in the middle of the gorge in the mountain leading to the peak. Su Li Yu? Good name. Thank you for the praise master. Past. Anyway, I've already accepted it. As they say, the master only directs, and development depends on the student. And what happens after that will depend only on her. With these thoughts, I, accompanied by my student beauty, entered the portal. And I'm home again. Skyscrapers made of wood still rise to the heavens. Looking at this picture, the girl thought. Bai is clearly not an easy person. Why are others mocking him? So much firewood. His abilities can easily level the Kin Hong Academy to the ground, but he tolerates such an attitude. Her thoughts were interrupted by the master. Miss Su. I would like to clarify something. First of all, we don't have a curriculum. At the Faculty of Runes, everyone is busy with self-awareness. Secondly, you can come and go whenever you want. There is no need to report on your steps every time. Thirdly, as you can see, there are not many resources for cultivation here, since I do not have students. But don't worry, as your master, I will make sure that you don't need anything. You will get all the necessary resources. With these words, I took out two books from my spatial necklace. And the last thing I haven't mentioned yet. Do you have any questions? No, master. Good. I've prepared a couple of books for you. Take them. Having said that, I threw the books to the girl and continued. The first is a textbook I wrote. It highlights all possible runes and step by step describes the problems that may arise, everything is divided by complexity. The second is practical exercises. Complexity is indicated everywhere. Just follow these manuals, take your time and don't try to absorb too much information at one time. I will periodically check your skills, so don't be lazy. The girl bowed respectfully. I will remember your instructions, master. There are the students' rooms. There's no one else but us, so you can choose any one. Pointing my finger in the direction of dilapidated buildings that had been in need of repair for a long time, I finished. If you need anything, contact the Academy's Internal Affairs Department. They will provide everything you need. From Sue's point of view. I wonder if it's not too late to change the faculty? I was looking at the shack I'm going to have to live in. It seemed one wrong move and she was about to collapse. It doesn't matter. I can handle it even if it's not easy. Meanwhile, while I was inspecting my house, the master took off the skin from the recently extracted snake, cut it into pieces, skewered it, and began to roast it on the fire. The smell of fried meat reached my nose right in my house. It smells delicious. Opening the window, an avalanche of dust fell on me. But that wasn't what surprised me. He roasts dragon meat dragons are considered divine animals. The person who got the carcass is obliged to present it to the patriarch. The master really just roasts and eats it involuntarily, my mouth almost watered. 
By the way, having been cultivating for thousands of years, I have never tasted dragon meat. Approaching my teacher from behind, I decided to try. Making as cute a face as possible, I said. Master. Can I have some? The answer stunned me. Brief as a bow shot. No. I never would have thought that a cultivator of my level would be denied a piece of meat. If the immortals from my past life found out about this, they would laugh me to death. Meanwhile, the master sighed. Don't look at me like that. No means no. Having lost all hope, I turned around and headed to my room. P.F. No, so no. The master is a real greedy. There was a sigh from behind. To stand. Turning around, I became an angel again. So you can? I asked as sweetly as I could. Tearing off as small a piece as possible, the master handed it to me. Here, lick it once. Students should not call their master a greedy person. He said and continued to eat the pieces alone. As soon as you try, you'll understand why I refused. He speaks as if. And then I noticed that the meat had an unusual aura. Okay. Lick it. As soon as my tongue touched the meat, it was like an energy bomb exploded inside me. Heck. Is the spiritual energy that strong me. I can't do it anymore. I would never have thought that the energy of a small piece is comparable to six months of cultivation. If I ate a normal piece, I would just be torn to pieces. Then, turning around, I watched the master eat meat without any problems, as if it was an ordinary meal. Who is this man? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. All bye.